All right, ladies and gents, today's video, we're going to be talking about tackle and the tackle I use uh, on a daily basis here, here local and up in the Sierras. Uh, and we're going to go over uh, bags, the gear, and uh, rods and reels I'm going to be using uh, this season primarily. Uh, I want to start off with the bags. Uh, this is the bag I currently use. I just got this uh, a few months ago uh, to replace the uh, Bass Pro Shop backpack I had. That thing was getting a little old, so I uh, got this one, nice Shimano bag, uh, uh, and it's, it's great. Really nice quality, uh, but it, it, it costs 160 bucks retail. <laughs> it's a little expensive. I thought, well, you know, uh, I fish all the time, so I was going to spend some money, get a real nice bag, and, and it is a quality bag. Shortly after, uh, Esteban uh, told me about the bags he used, and uh, he uses these bags. Uh, it's Omtix, I guess is how you say it. They're available on Amazon, and this bag is 50 bucks. <laughs> And it's just as nice as this uh, fancy Shimano bag. Uh, uh, so uh, I would definitely look into getting one of these if you're looking for a backpack because it's, it's a quarter of the price of that Shimano. Uh, you don't get the fancy Shimano writing on it, but uh, to me, that's not worth all that money. <laughs> all right, now let's, uh, let's take a look at, uh, at what we got inside. And I'll, I'll try and start from the outside and work my way in. On these sides, I have these bags. Um, uh, these are the... Uh, GoPro uh, cameras and camera supplies I carry with me. So in this one, we've got uh, tripod, extra tripod and extra GoPro. Um, these cases are real cool. Um, they're made by 3VR Power Sports and they have every type of GoPro you could want. But what's uh, the reason why I have these cases is they have uh, clips on the side so you can uh, hook up power cables and uh, clamp these down and it still remains uh, water resistant. You can't submerge it like you could with the door on there that GoPro provides, but it can, it can be out in driving rain and all those things. So uh, uh, this is what I do. I hook these up and then run these to a, a anchor uh, battery. And I'll show you that in a second. And uh, the, that's how I get my constant shots. So these cameras just run all day while I'm fishing, pick up hookups and anything I miss with my, uh, my hat cam. And then this, this is another similar device that I have for my hat cam for my uh, GoPro, God, I don't know what it is, a 10? Um, uh, but I have this, because same principle, um, and I'll, when I wanna, uh, don't have time to take around uh, uh, this, this big camera, I can put this on my hat camera and hook this to a battery pack and keep it in my backpack or my pocket, and uh, uh, that camera will run all day. Uh, and catch anything that, that uh, uh, happens while I'm out there, all the hookups and all those other, other kind of things. Like Especially like if I'm stream fishing or out in a boat where there's not enough room to, to, or distance to put up a, a good hookup cam, I'll put this thing on and uh, record the, uh, the action live kind of as it happens. And this, this is also made by uh, 3BR Motorsports, but, or Power Sports. And uh, uh, if I didn't say before, everything I'm going to show you uh, just leave a comment if you want a link to uh, how to get those things. I will, I will send it to you. I already have the links all set up. So just leave a comment, ask me what you want, and uh, uh, I will send it to you. And finishing up this bag, I just have some uh, lens filters. Uh, 50, mil what are they, 50 millimeter? I forget, but they just attach right here and they're, they're different uh, shades. So uh, you, could, you could pick up different uh, uh, images with the, uh, the filters on here. That's all these are. Now this next smaller bag is just more GoPro equipment. Like I have uh, extra uh, memory cards here. Uh, these are handy on long trips. Uh, sometimes I'm tired, uh, I've been fishing for 12 or 14 hours, and I don't want to sit there at the laptop and download everything, so sometimes I can just switch out a card, label it, and uh, get to it later when I get home. <laughs> extra GoPro 10 batteries. Uh, these are extra cables, uh, GoPro uh, uh, pieces, and different different hookups for their mounts if I want to uh, try to get certain ty types of shots. And uh, oh, there's some more uh, GoPro seven and eight batteries uh, uh, if I want to uh, not use the anchor battery and want to do something like say I want to put it underwater, I put the door back on, use one of these batteries, and uh, uh, do it that way. All right, continuing around the bag, I got these uh, these cool deals for my tools. So I got some shears here. Uh, these are Gerber shears. They're real good at cutting braid. So we have these on here. But a uh, uh, real cool thing is I got these little, uh, I don't know what they're, key attendants or whatever, something the janitor would have probably. 
I'll clip these on my uh, my belt loops, and I have the tools with me at all times, so I can pull it out and uh, and use them. Uh, these are uh, fish grippers. I get it off of here. Uh, same thing. Hook it to my belt, and they uh, come out and retract. So I have the tools uh, right at, uh, at hand. Uh, Golden State fishing towel, obviously to wipe my hands off. Uh, let's go to the main pocket. There's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, my Waterland sunglasses, of course. Uh, oh, I got some uh, some Runkle uh, fishing gloves. And what these are, these aren't warm weather gloves. These are uh, uh, just, uh, or cold weather gloves. They're just to keep the sun off my hands. Uh, obviously, I spend a lot of time out in the sun uh, and I don't necessarily want to put sunblock on the time, so I'll put wear these gloves and it at least helps cover my hands and keeps the sun off them. Uh, little med kit, ibuprofens and whatnot, uh, antacids that you might need while you're out there. Uh, this here is my, uh, my bait and weight kit, uh, and as you can see, it's way consolidated down from uh, the last video I showed my tackle because I was just I was carrying too much stuff. <laughs> so I bought, bit the bullet and uh, really consolidated it down, so I got like uh, a few jars of power bait. These are just some of the, the favorite ones that work for me lately, and uh, I've got corn yellow, uh, what's this, green pumpkin, and uh, the uh, uh, pale green garlic works really well. I got some mice tails and some uh, bang spray. Um, and that's another thing. I get a lot of questions. Uh, I only use scent on my bait and weight stuff. I don't use it on the drop shots or the mini jigs or the spoons. I just, uh, I haven't seen anything that, that uh, uh, would show me or in my experience that it makes much of a difference, honestly. Um, uh, so I, I, but I do use it on bait and weight because the bait's just going to be sitting there dead so it has time for that scent to get out there but you're you're moving lures um uh that stuff comes off after so many casts and and it's it's it, i just haven't seen anything that, that that would show me to prove it really makes a difference uh and then i got some uh some worms in here some peter's custom trout worms uh uh they're like uh, berkeley worms and they, they float real good so i use those from time to time uh, i got a uh, box here with all my uh barbless uh jigs uh, sometimes I like to fish barbless, um, or, or, or you have to at certain spots in the Sierras, but sometimes local I like to, like if we get into a good bite, um, uh, uh, it's much easier to, to use a barbless hook, and uh, 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 it's much easier on the fish, so sometimes that's, that's what I'll do, so I like to have these handy. Uh, I got some Cast King pliers, these are really good pliers, and again if you want links to this stuff I will... Just uh, leave it in the comments and I'll get it to you. Um, these attach on your on your belt, so uh, it's always good to have a, have some good pliers on hand. Sunblock. Uh, a bunch of extra uh, Golden State mini jigs. In case there's certain colors that I don't already have rigged, I have some extras. Uh, flashlight and a, a hat light. These are cool little uh, little hat lights. Um, that clip right on the bill of your hat so when it's early and you're trying to get up to the spot it's really easy to clip that thing on you don't feel the thing uh, like those those hat lights can, or those headlights can be kind of uncomfortable sometimes so I like just clipping that right on my hat and it's adjustable so it pops down if you want and you can get a good view of the ground so you don't trip <laughs> so these are real cool lights um, oh, some some leader line this just happens to be some Seaguar uh, four pound I also carry the Runkle uh, 5 that I use a lot, but uh, I just happen to have some Seaguar in here. Uh, oh, in here, I've got some extra uh, jig heads that uh, Trout Bit Tackle made for me. Some 164s and some 148s, like really, really tiny stuff if I want to do a real slow presentation on something. Uh, I got some of these available. All right, continuing straight down the middle here. Got a little pocket right here. These are all my uh, my Golden State uh, fishing uh, bait and weight stuff, uh, the mice tails and the, uh, the eggs. He makes they uh, work real good. I use them quite a bit. And down here I got a uh, digital scale because that comes in handy, of course. Well, if we're lucky. <laughs> Working over here to this pocket. This is where I got all my uh, my pre-tried uh, uh, drop shot rigs. 
uh, all the different sizes. I usually category, uh, categorize them by weight now, like I got 3.30 seconds here, uh, one eighth. I uh, got some with some large hooks, some number six hooks, but I mean they use eight hooks now. Um, yeah, a few more drop shots, these are 3.30 seconds. Uh, oh, and these, I, I've uh, been using some uh, uh, ones I tie with leader loops, so I'm gonna do a video on that uh, in case uh, I got into a tilapia bite the other day. You need to do uh, leader loops on the drop shot to get it, get that hook in their mouth. So, made some of those up. Uh, got a uh, hook remover in here, looks like about it. Oh, I got on this side pocket, there's a little pocket for your water bottle. Got a stringer in case I've uh, got to keep any fish. This pocket over here, I've got my uh, RHA spoons. Uh, some of my favorite colors in here that have been uh, really working, like Morning Glory, Mr. Pickle, Bleeding Toad Slayer, Bleeding Ghost, uh, Lightning Trout. Uh, all the all the top ones and some of the uh, one and a half grams they, they're the size of the uh, four gram but they only weigh one and a half gram so you can work these back really slow really cool deal oh and this little box is my uh, float tube box so I just have one all already I got some barbless in there and there's some regular so I don't have to uh, root through all my other tackle and try and pick stuff out. I just made up a little box. So when I decided to take the tube out, I just throw this in the tube and I got all the, all the lures and jigs I need. So oh, down here, this is a anchor battery. It's just a cell phone charger battery. Um, and again, I'll have links to all this stuff if you want it, but this is what I use to hook up to uh, uh, my cameras. And these batteries will power a uh, camera running 4K, a GoPro. Uh, near eight hours so near most of a fishing day uh, One of these little batteries will run it that that whole time. So and, and they're very inexpensive So uh, don't don't go out and buy GoPro stuff. There's other batteries out there in the market. that are really good that are you know a quarter of the price All right working our way down to the main pocket with has all the trays in it This very front pocket right here Got some uh, some Berkeley uh, bait and weight stuff, like some old school uh, uh, power worms and mice tails and whatnot, these kind of things. Even some Golden State stuff in here. And the very bottom tray, what do we got in here? Oh, these are all my uh, Golden State uh, mini jigs and micro jigs and uh, powerball worms and devil tails. So I have all these in here. Uh, Kind of a mess, but I have so many different colors. I try to arrange it by lights and darks, but I got my micro jigs down here, uh, or these 1 16th jigs that are all rigged and 1 32nd. And then these are all Powerball worms and the uh, the new devil tails that I use on drop shot or uh, on ball heads. Uh, they work great. This next box, all my terminal tackle. So I got all my uh, bobbers, rattle bobbers, uh, dual lock snaps, drop shot weights, regular weights, hooks of all sizes, Carolina rig equipment, swivels, uh, the whole deal. Um, uh, so all the terminal tackle I'll need, whether I'm uh, fishing spoons, jigs, or bait and weight, uh, I got everything. This next tray, oh, is the uh, Golden State uh, minnows. These are the uh, older version, the two inch, but they still work great. Uh, got all my different colors at, at here. And, and uh, again, I try to arrange them by lights and darks best I can, because it's, it's hard to give a one tray to one color. There's, there's so many different variations, but uh, uh, these are all the old uh, two inch minnows, but uh, now we got the Spartan minnows. So I've been using those a lot. And uh, that's the next case. And here are all the uh, the Spartans uh, uh, and some mini Spartans. Got these new minis. These work really good on the drop shot. Uh, some of the micro minnows. Uh, but you've seen those in lots of uh, ball heads of different colors and weights. These uh, Spartan minnows are outstanding. Have so much more action than the older minnows. Uh, and, and so far, the, the fish just love them. All right, guys, so that, that wraps up the bag and, and uh, all the tackle I take around. And, and uh, uh, like I told you in the last video, I was going to try to consolidate it down, and I did. <laughs> as much as it hurt, I did it. 
Uh, so let's move on to uh, rods and reels I'm going to be using this season. All right, now that we're on to rods and reels, uh, the first thing I want to show, because I get a lot of questions about that, is my rod cases. Uh, and these are uh, from a company called Mountain Cork, and they make these really nice cases. Uh, patches are something I put on from my old uniform, but uh, uh, they're made of nylon, and they have uh, PVC pipes in them. And uh, uh, the, uh, uh, they really protect the rods, and these are really reasonable, uh, especially if you get nice fishing rods like the Katanas or something like that. Uh, uh, it helps protect them. Uh, so I can have these in my truck and I don't worry about my rod tips. They're, they're, they're more than safe. Uh, so so uh, 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 give these a look uh, if you really want to uh, protect your rods. And they make anything custom. So if you have a one-piece rod, they have cases for you. Two-piece rods, any length. Because uh, like our, my pyramid rods, those are nine and nine, nine foot six. Uh, and broken down, they're really long. They have cases for that. They have cases for fly rods, anything you can think of. So uh, uh, give these a look, uh, and I will, of course, put the uh, give you the link. If uh, uh, you leave a comment and want the link, I'll absolutely send it to you and uh, uh, check them out. I can't uh, speak highly enough about this company, uh, and the turnaround time is uh, very, very quick. So uh, check them out. All right, well, let's, uh, let's start off with the, the, my favorite rods, and, and that's the Katanas. Uh, I'll start off with the, uh, this one's the Katana K5. It's a seven foot six ultralight rod, medium fast, fast action, and it's a hair stiffer than some of my other Katanas, so I use this one for, uh, for drop shot and for spoons. And I have a uh, Daiwa Presso 1000 series uh, JDM reel on here, and I have all my, uh, almost all my, uh, uh, lure working uh, reel spooled with a uh, four pound Phoenix iron feather braid. Uh, the only problem with the iron feather right now, it's not available. I guess Phoenix is having some issue with the manufacturer, uh, uh, so you can't get it <laughs> unless you pay a premium on eBay. Uh, but the good thing about braid is it lasts a very, very long time. So I'm just using it. Normally I would have re spooled uh, since it's a new season, uh, uh, but the braid is fine. Uh, it's just discolored. Uh, but it will still work and still catches the fish and then I use a uh, either a four pound Seaguar leader or a five pound Runkle fluorocarbon leader uh, and, and attach that with a, a double uni knot which is right over here but it's so tiny you can't see it. Um, uh, but outstanding setup uh, for drop shot or spoons uh, but these are uh, spendy. I fish all the time. I decided to spend the money since I fish so much. Uh, and and the, uh, the difference in detecting bites, especially when they're, they're on a uh, very shy bite and they're barely lipping it, uh, I could really feel it with this equipment. So uh, uh, it really paid for itself in my eyes. Uh, uh, but you can, you can still drop shot and fish effectively with budget gear. Uh, like we always say, it's, 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 it's like going to Vegas in, a, in, in either a Honda or a Ferrari. Uh, Ferrari's probably more fun, but the Honda will get you there, no problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> so uh, it is an investment and it is uh, something that uh, 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 is wonderful if you can afford it. If you can't, don't worry. You can still catch tons of fish. Like in my older videos, I've only been fishing these a couple years. Uh, I was fishing all budget gear uh, and doing just fine and having a blast. So don't worry about that. This is one I use for mini jigs. This is a Katana K4. And this is a seven foot six faster action rod. Uh, and I have it paired with a uh, uh, Shimano Stella uh, JDM reel. Uh, wonderful setup with the uh, Phoenix Iron Feather uh, four pound braid and a five pound Runkle fluorocarbon leader uh, or Seaguar, but I believe this is Runkle since the last time I tied it. Uh, uh, outstanding setup, but again, very spendy. Uh, mini jigs are uh, one of those things that are very difficult to throw. Uh, so you do need to upgrade your gear a little bit, especially the line. Uh, if you can't get Iron Feather, uh, I've been telling guys uh, to get some of that Iser line 2 pound smoke. Uh, I don't normally fish 2 pound, uh, but it will get you good casts and the smoke is stronger than most other 2 pounds. Uh, uh, so that will get the job done. Just have to be careful. You hook into a big one, make sure your drag set right uh, uh, or you can, you, you can have a bad time. <laughs> but if you're starting out, Use some of that Iser line uh, two pound smoke. You'll be able to cast better with it and you'll get a feel for working the mini jigs. And then when this other line comes available or you hear of something else, or hell, if you hear of something else, let me know. Uh, 
then you can upgrade to that, and uh, it gives you a lot more uh, 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 forgiveness when you're fighting big fish. All right, now onto the uh, bait and weight mainstay. I have two of these rods uh, in case I want to do uh, double bait and weights. But this is a uh, uh, Daiwa Spinmatic 8 foot uh, ultralight. It's a moderate action rod. You can also drop shot with this rod. Uh, these are very inexpensive. I think they're like 40, 50 bucks. Uh, and it's paired with a uh, uh, Daiwa Legalis 1000. And I have two of these uh, setups, just one of them. The other one's a newer one, so the, the reel's just a different color, but it's the exact same reel, essentially. Um, great, great rods for the money. Uh, and they can do everything. You can even throw mini jigs with this as long as you uh, size down your line. On my bait and weight uh, reels, I, I run a five pound Runkle uh, Power Fluoro, the same stuff I use for leaders. Uh, and I run that straight. I don't run uh, braid on my uh, bait and weight rods. Uh, just run the straight Fluoro. Uh, and that gets the job done. But uh, uh, outstanding setup uh, and, and relatively inexpensive. I think these rods are 40, 50 bucks and the legalises go from anywhere. If you can find them on sale, sometimes you give them 50 bucks, uh, but I think they normally retail about 60, 70. Uh, but an outstanding reel. I really love the legalis. Uh, in fact, I took one of these, uh, uh, my blue one, the first time up to Pyramid and just put some 10 pound braid on it and uh, caught an 11 pounder with this tiny reel. Uh, and it, the drag slipped a little bit, but it, it held up and it got that fish to the net. So really, really good reel. All right, ladies and gents, there you have it. Uh, uh, I hope that was informative. Uh, and like I say, if you watch the channel, I don't, I don't mind sharing anything. Uh, if I get information, uh, my job is to get it out to you guys. So anything you want uh, that I just showed you or any other questions you have, leave a comment. If you want links, I will absolutely give you the links. I have them all set up, ready to go. Uh, if you want to get some of these things, uh, if you uh, want any of the uh, Golden State Fishing products or uh, RHA spoons, the Waterland sunglasses, or the Katana rods, click this QR code right here. It'll take you to a link tree, and it'll have all the links you need, um, uh, including discount codes and, and all those things. If you make a purchase, you can get uh, uh, up to 15% off of some of those companies. So real good deal. It's real good stuff, or I wouldn't use it, so, uh, so give them a look. Now coming up, uh, I got uh, the Wolford opener this weekend, but this video won't be out till after that. And then uh, actually when this video comes up, I'll probably be at the mud hole. Uh, I heard they put uh, lightning in there, so uh, I'll be out there again on a Wednesday. Uh, and then, uh, shoot, I don't know what, we're, shoot, we'll be in the holidays. <laughs> It'll be Christmas time. So I'm going to sneak out here and there and see where I can get. And uh, uh, early January, we're going back to the mid. Really excited about that. So uh so we'll see, and, and uh, I'll try and put out on uh, uh, Instagram uh, where I'm going to be, what days, and that kind of thing. So if you, if you see me out there, come always make sure to come and say hi. And, uh, well, with that, uh, oh, you got to remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe to the video. It helps out. Leave lots of comments. helps out the channel uh, with the algorithm and all that, that silliness. But uh, uh, until next time, guys, tight lines. Uh -huh.